I just want to explain something. There's this video floating around with a, a doctor from a New York hospital saying that you know, the pandemic, the, uh, it's different than anything that he's seen. Usually he sees uh, pneumonia and uh, they use ventilators and, and uh, what he's seeing is that this is completely different. You know, people are starving from oxygen and ventilators aren't working. So I just want to kind of explain a little bit of, of the process. So to avoid people running in panic and you know, everybody uh, thinking that this is something that we don't know how to control and, and we can't do anything about it. Uh, it is far from it. So what happens when the, the virus, let's, let's say you have the lungs right here. So you get two lungs. So what happens is that the virus then starts to infect the lungs and, and then the immune system responds to it, creating then inflammation or also, I'm sorry about the writing here. I'm hoping it can kind of, so you have immune system, IC or IS, I guess, <laughs> immune system attacks and it creates inflammation. And uh, if the body is healthy, then that's not a big deal. The issue becomes if an individual have a lot of what's called a reactive oxygen species around the, around the lungs or in the lungs. And what happens then is that this inflammation it's kind of becomes like a cytokine storm and it prevents then uh, oxygen O2 to be able to then go out into the bloodstream and carbon dioxide you know, to go into the lungs. So the, it creates in kind of like a shield around the lungs where these little lung sacs within the lungs aren't able to then diffuse gases in and out of them and it's because of this inflammation. So this sounds all very scary thinking well wow you know even ventilators aren't working and you know oxygen can't go in into the bloodstream even though we're trying to push oxygen in. The key actually becomes then regulating these reactive oxygen species. If you're able to clear these out then you're then also able to reduce inflammation to open up then the transport of oxygen. And how do you do that? Well, the key are then antioxidants. That becomes the biggest key. So that then relates to what you are eating, what kind of supplements you're taking. You know, so what are some antioxidants? Well, vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. You know, I've been talking about liposomal vitamin C as a good delivery system. Here at the Carthel Center, we, we offer a combination of a, a Myers cocktail with a high dose of vitamin C along with glutathione. You know, glutathione, just to tell you how important glutathione is, the level of glutathione within your cells are directly proportional to how long you're going to live. That's how important glutathione is, and that is one of the most powerful antioxidants out there, and it works very well in conjunction with, uh, with vitamin C. So by ensuring that you have a high level of antioxidants, you will then be able then to reduce the level of reactive oxygen species around the lungs, to reduce inflammation, to ensure the transport of oxygen uh, out into the bloodstream, carbon dioxide into the lungs so you can breathe that out. And then you don't have to worry about these big, uh, scary, you know, that I'm seeing something that I haven't seen before with this pandemic. You don't need to worry about those things. Load yourself with antioxidants. And as I said, if you have access to vitamin C IVs, it has been shown through studies now how effective it is to turn people around with these, uh, these severe conditions. Um, so I would say at, at the Carlfeld Center here, we offer it. I would suggest to come in and do it once a week. And that way you, you, you're ensuring your body that it's strong enough so that it can move through all these things. I'm gonna show you all some supplements also uh, that can be very useful and uh, how you can get it easily. 
So I just wanted to show you some options because there are a lot of options. I mean, we a lot of people are running out of liposomal vitamin C. You know, zinc is hard to find, vitamin A, vitamin D. You know, the common things that are really good for the immune system are echinacea is also another one that is hard to get a hold of. But when we're dealing then with the reactive oxygen species, you're not just dealing with the virus in itself, you're actually dealing then with an antioxidant load. You wanna make sure you bring that into your system. So obviously, you need to eat well, eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, and when you're cooped up, at home, quarantine, then you tend to eat more poorly. So make sure that you really make that effort to eat well. And uh, in addition to that, here are just some great supplements, so just a few suggestions where you can then load your body with good antioxidants, good anti-inflammatory support to control those reactive oxygen species. You know, here, Vitanox, you know, loaded with good uh, uh, antioxidant rich uh, uh, nutraceuticals you know uh, like for instance we just kind of read through here we got rosemary green tea turmeric grapeseed you know fantastic really powerful doing like one twice a day is a is a good prevention or herba vital you know it has things like uh, Japanese knotweed milk thistle Korean ginseng grapeseed ginkgo leaf uh, also extremely powerful antioxidants, all of them. In, in fact, Japanese knotweed is probably one of the herbs that has more antioxidants than anyone out there. That's how powerful it is and we use it all. So for things like Lyme disease, you know, it's been very powerful in regards to fighting Borrelia. So uh, powerful tools, turmeric forte, you know, it has on the, uh, the turmeric, and also fenugreek, the fenugreek seed, in it. it's in a delivery system that really allows turmeric to get into your system. And turmeric is extremely anti-inflammatory to reduce that inflammation along the respiratory and other parts of the body. Because that is what we're concerned about, is that can I cytokine storm or inflammatory response? And I love this product, like Cataplex ACP. I use it for all my COPD patients, you know, anything with the respiratory, inflammatory with, with the lungs. Uh, and you can do a high dose of this, like four of them three times a day if you need a lot of help. Uh, but for maintenance, maybe two of them three times a day. And uh, how do you find these? Well, all you need to do is actually just go on to our website, you know, the Carlfield Center, and you can just click on shop now. See here, just shop now. And with that, you can then scroll down a little bit and you see standard process right there. And uh, then you get all of standard process products available, you know, some of the, the MediHerb line as well. And then you just type in exactly here what it is that you're looking for. So you can type in then Vitanox or Herba Vital or Turmeric Forte or Cataplex ACP and you just do search and then you click you know, buy and we'll ship it to you. Uh, we'll ship it to you for free. So uh, it is an easy way to get access to great immune boosting substances that are, will then protect your lungs and protect them for inflammation.